dummy butt. Big dumb butt. Jesus. I bet you. I bet you went to school and barely passed. <laughs> just, you dumb butt. We what fucking started about? on you guys calling me a dumb butt. Larry didn't go to school. <laughs> we all know this. He's the progenitor. He didn't. There wasn't a school to go to. I'm sorry, what did you say? What the did progenitor? You say? What? The progenitor. The thing, the thing that comes before. <laughs> the. the Oh, the, the, the beginning. So. Foreplay. Pre-gen. Pre-gen. Yeah. Pre hey, uh, what was it like being uh, part of Gen Alpha? Because that was the first in the... Isn't, the isn't the what, new Gen Alpha? What was it like to be the Alpha and possibly the Omega? I don't know. Hey, what was it like when your mom <laughs> clapped her cheeks and created the Big Bang? So... All day I've been thinking. I created Larry. No. <laughs> so, Big so, Bang created Larry. All day I've been thinking, like, I'm kind of an asshole to you guys. And I felt really bad about it. And we just hit play. And now I realize, fuck you guys. Hey. No. Suck a dick. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Suck a big old. Four big guys. I'm sorry. Four big <laughs> He's guys. He's at it again. Well, that, that'll that'll appeal to it'll some. It'll come that's up. A, it'll come up. That's again. a real soundtrack. That's don't going worry. Around. It'll is it going around? You created it. You just put it out no. there. You're like it's going around. <laughs> I put it's it going, out there. It's going around in some circles, not many. Sitting sound waves circles. like gonorrhea hit the '80s. Jesus, wasn't it mainly AIDS that hit the '80s? I think everything. The AIDS. The AIDS. The AIDS. I think everything hit the eighties to be oh, fair. God. Yeah. Yeah. I hit the eighties. We know. <laughs> <laughs> the eight and he's just referring to the regular eighties. Yes. Like, and, and all of them. All of the eighties. <laughs> every single like, like AD uh yeah. like Well uh, I guess yeah, this is so a good time to say hi. Yeah, we are on a, in a soup kitchen today. Soup uh -oh. kitchen episode. The three fat dudes has expanded and opened their doors to a new soup kitchen today. So you got this guy, Brian, then those two fucks. Hi, I'm fuck number one. I'm fuck number two. They got shirts, but they didn't wear them. Yay. And together, we form two fucks. <laughs> to give. Away. I couldn't give. Two fucks, you know the saying. Were those two fucks? I really couldn't get rid of them, so. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like mm. herpes. It is kind of like herpes. <laughs> but anyways, today, today we also have Tyler as, as our as our buddy as a buddy soup kitchener. He's he's gonna ladle out some justice. Justice. <laughs> All right. Just this tip. Am I right? Just the tip. Brian, have you been working like on your your words because <laughs> progenitor ladling? ladling? Ladling is a big word. No, it's ladling. not a big word. It's just not a common I like word. He's kind of <laughs> insulting you. That that, that <laughs> reminds me of you know, ladling. You're not, you, you're not a fucking idiot today. <laughs> it's it's just not something you use in everyday conversation. Have you been working on your words, young man? I mean, it's a good word. <laughs> I've been out there. I've been trying. I've been writing them. So this this reminds me of uh, of a joke I heard recently. Uh, I'd like to pass it by you guys. Um, so a guy gets home and he and he sees his girlfriend packing, and he's like, "What are you doing packing?" And she's like, "Well, I just can't be with you anymore." And he goes, "Why?" And and, uh, and she stops what she's doing. And she looks at him and she says, "I heard you were a pedophile." And uh, he goes, "Pedophile? That's a big word for a twelve year old." <laughs> <laughs> heard that one before holy shit <laughs> that's a good one uh, that's terrible. I, I, that's a, it was yeah it was the first time i heard it i was like that's fire that's an awesome joke <laughs> that's fucking terrible what was that guy's name that uh wrote great balls of fire jerry lee lewis that's him that's yeah. that guy yeah. he was married his guy he's, he's married his like young cousin he was a kid Is that that edgar Allan poe edgar Allan poe <laughs> married his like 14 year old cousin Another, another famous kid diddler and then died he said. yeah she died of um tuberculosis just like his mother everybody died yep. of tuberculosis back then though so it's like like just you know oh somebody else did 
<laughs> I'm coughing blood. Time to die. It's Taberka Tuesday. Am I right? <laughs> Taberka Tuesday. That was the that was the line at the office. And everybody didn't hate Mondays uh, at that point. It was always Taberka <laughs> Tuesday that really if, put the death there on the week. <laughs> if there was anybody alive, they would have really hated it. <laughs> they all died. <laughs> it was it was their last day, so they kind of dug it there for a minute. <laughs> that was their last joke they heard before they died. God, that would be terrible. Speaking of jokey jokes, where where can you find our jokes, Larry? <laughs> I don't know if you call them jokes, but you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Three Dudes Three. Um, and that's it. Yeah, you can join our soup, our our soup kitchen Discord, and you can give us money to not tell jokes or to tell jokes. Ooh, yeah. Or to even come on the you show. Tell, you tell us. Yeah. We have a, a Patreon that's out there. It's a really great way to support us if you want to. Absolutely no obligation. We just do this for funds um, and Funsies. also to, to hang out with each other. Um, but if you give us but, money, we can do funsies better. More betterer. Yeah. We use it to do more betterer things. Yeah, we use uh, Podbean. Uh, just throwing a shout out to them as a uh, as a service provider for podcast ears and uh, and listeners. Um, it's a great way to distribute to many many uh, listening avenues, like you're listening on now uh, or possibly on YouTube. Um, but uh, unfortunately, there are some costs that go along with that. Um, so it could really help us be able to kind of yeah, we're making money things. off of podcasts. Well, we pay it so <laughs> yeah we, we have no capital negative capital yeah. for you we're, we're for you five folks yeah. Yeah. so <laughs> if you want to follow our business podcast um you can't because we can't afford yeah. it we we don't obviously we're not good at it so <laughs> hey it. hey i think that larry's good at it that business yeah look at, he's he's the only look one that's professional look, he's like look he's at like, him. Like, He's like, uh, you know, got a robot dick in front of his mouth. <laughs> That's how you know you're good at business. <laughs> I actually really robot. like this microphone. Uh, we oh, could hear that. Yeah. <laughs> I just put my mouth around it. <laughs> I love it now. <laughs> you guys could really get into this, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is actually a really good microphone. It's really good. There's just guys, something you... about it that's so comforting. I just, when my mouth is around it, I just feel better. Just feel better for some reason. I'm soothed. <laughs> you know, just feel so natural. You know. Fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, Fuck you'd you. like that, wouldn't you? Oh, what? Jeez. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Friday. Um, Friday? I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah, my schedule's booked until then. Uh, we'll call it fucking Friday. Fucking Friday. You're just all about alliteration today. I'm always about alliteration. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that. Never. Yeah. My name starts with uh, Caleb. That's the start of my name. That's the the alliteration there. <laughs> Caleb. <laughs> they call him old um, Cummy Caleb. We'll find, we'll find more as we go. It's like <laughs> Dora the Explorer. We gotta find him. Do, do you see the Caleb? <laughs> do you Dora. see the illustration? <laughs> illustration. Alliteration? I'll give you an illustration. <laughs> yeah, he's alliteration over there. Illiterate, it's like illiterate. Yeah, hang on, read. <laughs> Wait, illiterate means the opposite. What are you talking about? I'm saying illiterate, illiterate? not illiterate. L literate, illiterate. Oh, okay, oh. I'm, stupid. I'm the stupid. But it's okay. This is, a, this is an amazing <laughs> podcast today. Alliteration is like the the Taco Tuesday, Fuck Friday, Tuberculosis hey. Tuesday. Um, come Caleb. <laughs> come Caleb. Yeah, that that follows uh, <laughs> right after every fucking Friday. Yeah, uh, and then bitch Brian, yeah. bitch, yeah, baby bitch, J Jonah Jameson, mm -hmm. Peter Parker, Uncle Ben's grave, <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ben. <laughs> I I don't know why I made that joke. I, honestly. <laughs> Because you were so serious. Uncle Ben's grave. <laughs> Just has to throw it out there. 
Oh, Every now and again, you gotta throw it out that one chamber, somebody. just ready to let it fly. <laughs> you never know when you'll need it. It's <laughs> my favorite Spider-Man no. character. <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? Hey. Caleb is just every conversation just waiting to pull it out. Uncle Ben's grave. Is today gonna be the day? I think it will. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, uh, it doesn't come up very often. See, y'all, y'all just sit now. There does Uncle Ben. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are hitting all my hot button phrases <laughs> right now. Dead. Layers dead. We're now three fat dudes because Layers dead. And we got Tyler. So, <laughs> holy shit, they're hurting. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. All right, I came out my nose. <sighs> well, without further ado, God damn. Hey, Tyler. What's up? All right, got a question for you. Okay, you know the rule, right? You know the rule, right? All you gotta there do is rules? Well, <laughs> let's fight. Shh. Shh. Let's back it up a fucking step. There is one. <laughs> There's one rule. And Charlie messed it up, so I just I want to reiterate it since this is your first suit tip chum with us. Uh, all you have to do is end it with three fat dudes in a trench coat. That's all you got to do. So, the question is, how do you get into a fantasy world? Okay. Are we talking how do I immerse myself in a fantasy world? Or how do I insert myself in a fantasy world? You're already messing it up. Yep. Please, no, no technically he's not, just... breaking, he's not breaking the rule. Technically he didn't give him that rule. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's not... just, just answer. Don't think about it. Answer. it you just gotta, gotta answer. You just create a, uh, a random situation in your mind and then end it with three fat dudes in a, in a trench coat. It's just a uh, um, a uh, little thing we do with with our episodes. So just get, send us spin a web of tales with us right now. Okay, hold on. So uh, the other day, I uh, I was going to my buddy Will's house, and uh, it was uh, so we could watch football. And I, uh, speaking of soup kitchens, I did my good deed for the week. And uh, there was this homeless guy with a dog uh, that was at the gas station that I happened to stop at. And I bought a stole muffin. Dog. Stole it. It's my dog now. <laughs> no, I bought uh, I bought a muffin and uh, a uh, like one of those like gallons of water he and a pelted uh, the homeless man with it. He is dead. <laughs> no, that man is dead, and he's got a dog now. And he's got nope. a dog now. <laughs> just, just gave it to him. Yeah, yeah. I was just trying to sell a good. Not everything has to be a joke, guys. Being wholesome, it's our, this, it's our soup kitchen episode. This does. This has to be a joke. No, I mean seriously. Uh, but, but again, so I stopped to get like some Gatorade uh, while I was there, and and uh, and I, I bought a, a gallon of water. Uh, it was actually one of those boxes of muffins, like the four pack. And um, and a, um, a thing of milk bones for his dog. I mean, it only cost me like twelve bucks or something like that. That's not bad. So gas station prices. It's true. It really gas wasn't. station I prices was... are expensive. Yeah, yeah I think for that, like no I think reason. That, that also included. Uh, uh, no, it didn't include. So like, I think my total was like twenty two bucks, but I bought two of the like, um, the Gatorade bottle things that have the cool tips. You know what I'm talking about. And um, it's a cool tips and uh, a two we'll liter of Sprite. About him. The two liter of Sprite was eight dollars, right? <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure that was I, it was like three bucks to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah, it's because it was like gas station, it was like two, food. two for six or something was the deal. Well, like, so <laughs> yeah. gas station food itself is relatively cheap, like, you can get a, a biscuit and a whole pizza for five bucks. So I like it's either really, really shitty, like you would never ever eat that, or best food in the world. Yeah, but like the the actual food in a gas station, um, like the the big bags of chip and two liters and stuff like that, those are fucking just 
Jesus Christ. Yeah, you might as well stop off at Dollar General or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, the, uh, the biscuits are what I grew up on. Uh, I had a cousin that worked at a, at a gas station and they made food and she swore by it, like, you know, Hey, bring the kids by and stuff. And it's like the only thing my mom ever did that was nice for us uh, is to take us to get gas station biscuits. I mean, that's the only thing I miss from not working in the center, uh, in the work is stopping every morning. My rituals wake up super fucking early, go to the gas station, get an energy drink. And a fucking tenderloin biscuit and go into work. And it was the best. I'll give you a tenderloin biscuit anytime you want, buddy. So um, the gas station on my way to work, there's always a really weird guy in there. And I hate going into it because he just, <laughs> he's just really fucking weird and it creeps me out. And then hey, when man. Larry leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey man, I got three dollars and change. Can I? Uh... He's like biscuit. <laughs> Is that what he does? <laughs> I say that to you. <laughs> when he <laughs> when he rings stuff up. To, is he trying to sell it to you? <laughs> when, or... he, when he rings stuff up, he, for some reason he likes to like narrate what it is. It's like biscuit. So and this is a biscuit. Cheese, egg, cheese. He wants bar? egg. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how he sounds, though. Yeah. I, I can't I... believe that this is an actual person. <laughs> so the no way the BP right next to the express loop. Oh, go in like... there at six in the morning. Oh, what a yeah biscuit. Go go into the BP next to the express loop, and then you'll find this guy, and he'll narrate anything you ring up. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Bag of dumb condoms, <laughs> banana, <laughs> banana. <laughs> Reese's Pieces. <laughs> I can't. I don't know why this got me. <laughs> this is the most I've seen Brian laugh in a while. I don't know why it's so funny. <laughs> Biscuit. <laughs> so <Soda. laughs> I just imagine this fucking dude. <laughs> Play, Playboy. Wait for Larry. Mail enhancement drugs. <laughs> <laughs> You imagine the like truckers that go in there and they're just like, I don't got time for this. <laughs> I don't got time for this shit, dude. Just bring it up. I'm just here for those pills that give energy and an energy drink because I need to double up on this shit and get to Louisiana by Friday. Come on. Not allowed to do cocaine anymore, so I need them yellow jackets and I need them fucking red red bulls. Let's go. Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> Louisiana purchase. <laughs> that, that's a high quality joke right there. Oh, uh, I don't I don't know why. I don't know why it was so funny. That's just gonna be an inside joke that we'll forget about. I will never forget about that man. <laughs> I mean, he only exists in my in my imagination. He, there's uh, no way he exists in real life. He I can't does. believe it. I can't believe it. I mean, I haven't been in there in in a year because it's. I'm not going to take a baby into the gas station. Yeah, they get eight there. Yeah. <laughs> gas station babies. <laughs> it's a black hole for babies. They go in, but they don't come out. You ever, they, you ever, no, see, they, a, you ever see a baby? They in the leave gas with a trucker hat. Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. I've took my children into no, gas stations. No, they, you haven't. They fucking love it in there. It's like a goddamn amusement park when you bring kids <laughs> into a gas station. They're like, gas station drinks? Next? <laughs> like, yeah, bud, go for it. <laughs> Mine left with a uh, trucker's hat and a pack of cigarettes whenever I first went. Never came Remind, back. Never came Remind, back. He went for some milk. Reminded me of the time my dad left me. It was pretty great. So speaking of, I, I reached a new level of fat today. Um <laughs> So I, I've gotten like a real addiction to these jalapeno cheese curls, and they're just pretty much cheese puffs. They're really good. But... So they're just cheese puffs with like jalapeno artificial flavor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All um, right. I know, I know the ones you're talking about. But they come in that like vomit green. Yeah. Packaging. The, the um, jalapeno color. No, so it's worse. I, it looks like baby poop. It's worse. Brown. Okay. I uh, I almost bought. Um, some of the the like nacho cheese to dip them in nacho cheese yeah thought about it i mean you should have that, that sounds pretty good 
Yeah, I had I had the like skin the skinny the the version of me that wants to lose weight. It's like, listen here, fat fuck, don't do this. <laughs> okay. so I got never wins. He's the smaller. Boy. He's the yeah. smaller of the two. He always loses. <laughs> he always loses. That was the one yeah. time that guy won. And I think it's because there were other people around. <laughs> <laughs> your impression yeah. and your imagination yeah. nothing better than than uh than your own shame giving you fat shame yeah. like, <laughs> like look at that fat fuck dipping his cheese uh. curls and cheese <laughs> oh my self-esteem you just go have a heart attack fat fuck oh. <laughs> um okay so my boy tyler has let us know that the intro is probably not his bag so i'll do it Hey, so Brian, right. Brian, Uh-oh. you do. Oh, no, fuck. Uh oh, double right, switch. Go ahead. Double go switch. Ahead. We'll, we'll just redo it. We'll Larry's got one. Again. He's just gonna be like, <laughs> he's just gonna be like, <laughs> new web, <laughs> <laughs> three five two, right. trench coat. <laughs> so it's callback. I'll ask the question again, Larry, okay. just, to, just to get it on the real. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Um, so Larry, how do you get into a fantasy world? Super easy. So on your way to work, you go to a gas station and it's kind of a dirty gas station. Like it doesn't look like they ever clean it. It's carved into the side of a mountain for some reason. So you go in there and there's the weird guy talking about everything he's ringing up. He's just Doritos, biscuits. And you're like, hey, can I use the bathroom? He's like, bathroom? And he points over there. So you walk into the bathroom, and uh, for some reason, this bathroom in the gas station on the side of a mountain is way deeper than it's supposed to be. So you keep walking, and it's got like 20 stalls for some reason. And after you get to like, you can't even see the door that you came in because all these stalls are just, they're full, and and you just got to poop. And so you finally get to the end. And you open it up, and there's nothing there. So you poop, and then you start to leave. And as soon as you leave, there's three fat dudes in a trench coat, and they're wondering why that gas station guy is so weird. Wait, uh, yeah. So the way you said that, I was just like, so like ominously, there's three fat dudes in a trench coat at the end of the log hallway in the bathroom. (laughs) They're like, hey man, uh, we just gotta poop. He was perched. No, he was perched (laughs) on the (laughs) toilet. I see him leaving. Oh, and he was back there. He's just like. (laughs) waiting yeah so in, in my head in my head that this this now has made me think i know larry's the usual like weird butt guy when it comes to stuff um but like do i mean we have... one question about a butt and i get labeled <laughs> as the weird butt guy You're the weird butt guy i'm sorry hey, hey, i don't know what to tell you um <laughs> <laughs> i mean it, the, uh, to be fair nobody in this world thinks man what would happen if her butts were horizontal instead of vertical <laughs> I just wonder what it would do it, to us. You probably it, still shit. The same probably, way. <laughs> probably change will come out of your brown everything. starfish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so would three fat dudes in a trench coat, would they all have their own separate butts? Or would it be just one giant booty? Yes. Have you ever watched A Color Out of Space? No. You ever watched yes. Human Centipede? We're, yeah, that thing, we're, that, we're that thing, but like with a coat on. The wi- the well. It's just like a well. weird. It's like a weird amalgamation of of persons. We're, we're Chong. It's true. We're Chong. Okay. Inside, aren't we all Chong? I don't know what that means. You know, like Cheech and Chong. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I think we're parked, man. They're in the floorboards, man. <laughs> well, someone's been watching their tick but tick tock. Tick butt. Tick box. Tick box. Big box. Big, big box. Big duck. Well, if you haven't gotten it, today the episode is going to be about fantasy worlds and what, we, what would happen if we were part of one or if we got to be in one of our own choosing or design. Um, we got to open a door and on the other side of the, the Narnia door is that world, pretty much. <clears throat> and we get to choose what world it is. It's not right. Narnia. So, uh, Tyler... 
you were starting to say that you would be a Middle Earth, right? Yeah. You're pretty braver cool. than I am. That's a pretty that's a pretty rad world. No, it's terrifying. The world was created out of a fucking rock metal band. <laughs> like fucking ACDC just comes in and they're like, Load it rings! Yeah, and, and the yeah, and all the angels are fucking like rock stars and shit and like are musicians and shit, and that's how the world was made. See, like in, in my head, shit? In my head, I, I went to the 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 movie Heavy Metal. Whenever you said that, I've never watched that movie. I've never it's watched terrible. That movie. Don't watch it. I know it's not it. okay. It's not terrible. Um, <laughs> if you got to say it like that, it's terrible. Well, first and foremost, I'm never gonna trust your like non. Yeah, I was about to say movies. first and foremost, it's Larry saying something bad about it. So. All right, enjoy that <laughs> shitty movie. It's not bad. It's not bad, Brian. No, you got to. He's you gotta only saying it's it not bad because it's just full of big cartoon anime titties. It's not right, full so of you, them. Now there you, is a. You say it's bad. <laughs> you say it's bad, and immediately say what's good about a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's there it's is not a, bad. It's not full of them. There are some hundreds. Yeah. All right. That, but, you uh, keep making the case, Larry, for it. So there's probably 20 solid minutes of anime boobies in, yeah. in the film. Um, the I original... would argue that there's nothing better than anime boobies. South Park talks I mean, about how terrible it is. No, they don't. They, they go on a whole adventure with Kenny. Yeah, they, they don't make, make fun, fun of, of it. it. They don't they make, make fun, fun of everything. No. Yeah. They make Kenny go on a freaking magic trip from cat pee to where he's in this world and gets Daughter's to see a awesome big... boobage. Yeah. Anyways, sorry. Back back to your fantasy world of Middle Earth, Tyler. So not first age or second age, because that shit's full of everything exploding and shit getting set on fire all the time. Yeah. Out of there. Maybe like after the fall of Sauron, there's not a really a whole lot of peaceful times during Middle Earth. <laughs> <laughs> so there's so, probably like a good good bit. We just hear about all the shit. He's that's like, have. he's like, I'd like to visit in the during a spring, like a nice spring. Where nothing's happening. <laughs> during a couple of years of no dragons and no Sauron, I think it'd be a badass place to fucking go. Yeah, especially in the fucking Hobbit, like in the Shire. The Shire. Gandalf and the fucking magic fireworks, and I don't know, it just seems like such a fun fucking place to be. Yeah, all cause... they give a fuck, all they care about is like drinking and eating and fucking like just living. Fucking. Like, just living their life, yeah, fucking. fucking. Yeah. And you can, like... Everything is a surprise. The trees come to life. That happens. Perfect. Fucking wall falls. There's a giant goddamn spider behind it. Not as fucking shocking. It happens. Big ass dragon on top of a pile of gold. Like every, it's just there's so much change and just randomness that happens. It just seems like the coolest fucking place to be. Bombadil, go find that fucker. Just hang out with him for a day. Lose Who's your goddamn that? mind. Tom Bombadil. Tom Bombadil. He is uh, the uh, character that no one knows anything about. <laughs> he he is the oh. he is the uh he is the energy of the world. He's the uh it's it's hard to describe. He's pretty much like the like force of the world. And he only the elves, fuck about the force of the world. The elves describe him as having been old when they were very young, and the elves are like three thousand years old. That's yeah, me. the elves are like we would give him the ring, but he would just lose it and not give a fuck about it. So Yeah. Like, he wouldn't be tempted to put on the ring. He would just be like, hey, this is a ring. I'm going to sit it down and never think about it again. Because it just, mm. he has no desire for power. He, he's just this little old guy who likes to walk around, smoke pipe weed. Yeah. Fuck his river wife. Fuck his river wife. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm surprised <laughs> that you don't know any lore about it, Larry. Like, You've watched at least the movies. They bring him up in the movies. They don't bring Tom Bombadil up. I thought they did. Whenever they're around the uh, the round circle and they're talking about uh, whenever the uh, during the fellowship the were forged during the fellowship. Mm, actually, don't know. Maybe maybe Legolas mentions him. I don't know. Not in the movie. I haven't seen the movies in a minute. So it's been I a while. Think, so I don't even think in the extended edition they do. I have the, um, the extended edition. My girlfriend bought me the omnibus version of the book, so I've been reading the books lately. They're all on uh, HBO, the extended editions. 
Yeah, oh, because okay. if the third one wasn't long enough. <laughs> and the Next director Slayer goes popping off with his hot takes on movies again. Listen, I watched <laughs> yeah. I watched the third one in theaters and had to pee at the very beginning. That's yeah, the third fault. one's like um it's like three hours and twelve minutes or something. It's the runtime, it's pretty long. Yeah. Dude, but um the first one there is an additional three hours. There is one time in my life that I have just complete bat- bladder control and it is during movies. And I don't I don't know why, but like I can just push that feeling down and just get through it. Like I mean, that's shit Tyler and I went to go watch uh, uh the My Hero Academia movie recently and I chugged down that sixty four ounce drink that they have and no problems it's a waterfall after every time yeah yeah i did i was like hey bro uh you mind watching my stuff <laughs> while i go pee real quick Give me just a second. <laughs> like, after like, the end. like that scene in austin powers with the asparagus <laughs> well i think of the first one when he gets unfrozen and it's just like 10 minutes of being I was thinking the one where he's like pretending to be the Cupid statue and he's like spraying piss everywhere. I think there was a lot of just pee jokes in the awesome power movies. Yeah. And, and butt jokes. Yeah. Good movies. And, and you know, uh, they did they did a lot of shtick with, uh, with like a screen and, and shadows. It was pretty good. Yeah. Innuendos. In your endos. Um, being, being in the uh, Lord of the Rings world is absolutely terrifying. I wouldn't want to do that. Why? Think you of just all the cool shit the bro. dwarves have made, though. Like the dwarving part of it, it's like the dwarves and the elves because the elves are my favorite race. But I think the dwarves are the most interesting. They're just constant, like in in the books and shit. People are just constantly falling over fucking magical items. They're like, oh, uh, I fell in a hole. I guess here's a whole trove of magical swords. <laughs> here's a fucking sword that glows blue when goblins are near for some fucking or orcs are near for some fucking reason. It's very, very specific. <laughs> Well, it's made by elves. They uh, yeah, imbued magic. it with magic to and be able to do so. And elves are just very pompous. It's because they're... they're old as fuck and they're royal. I mean, if you, you should... lived, if you lived, hang on, you you should know better than anybody. Right, that's what I was gonna when say. you live for thousands of years, uh, someone that you know, we're just no we're just fucking blip children that are just being dumbasses. Absolutely. And why are these these adults not being more <laughs> less jackassery? You sound that's, that's more a, like uh, <laughs> Johnny Depp. That was Johnny Depp to you. Kind of. This is why. This is why this movie. This is why I can't believe the gas station person exists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's probably like, uh, you got biscuit, you got this. Guy, <laughs> man, uh, three three sixty five. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Thanks, but he's just normal. Plot twist. Hunter. Larry is the gas station guy. I am. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Yes, I am. I am the gas station guy. I have gas station food for you. It's so like the, that movie, The Machinist. He's the killer the whole time. <laughs> no. um, I mean, like there's there's dragons. There's just fucking. Yeah, there's fucking dragons. Yeah. Dragons, dude. I would I would be killed like, by, them, and I think that'd be a pretty cool life. No, sure, dragons are scary as fuck. But to live to say you've seen a dragon, I'm like. Good. I've the coolest thing I've seen in my life is like a fucking rhino at the zoo. Like, show me a fucking dragon any day of the week. So Tyler, what what would, what would you do in the world of of? Uh, the, I'm not good at working with my hands, and I feel like that's what everybody in Lord of the Rings does. <laughs> so I would be I like a farmer, probably, just because that seems simple. So um, I'd, I'd be in the Shire, fucking just like fucking a, a, a halfling. Just partying. Fucking halfling. Did you say, yeah? That's what they are, well, halfling. So, yeah. Um, but, Brian, see, you're almost halfling height. It'd be like a, a three quarterling for you. A five ten. I don't know. Five ten. Are you really five ten? Yes. For some reason, <laughs> I thought you were like five four. Because you're a goddamn giant. I am only six one. Ha ha ha. That four inches is all the difference. At it least is. that's what my wife says. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, yeah, they, they'd be almost your size, Brian. Yeah, fuck it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> that's what I'd be doing. I'd, I'd be having second breakfast up in that bitch. So, be like, Second Brian, breakfast was better than first breakfast. That. <laughs> I mean, you could you could be like the, Tyler, you could be the uh, Middle Earth's first partier. Like, 
professional partier? You're just inviting all the wizards and shit to to get mm-hmm. drunk and and high with. That sounds like the dwarfs to me. Yeah, nobody's gonna out drink a dwarf. Oh, I don't the, care. Dwarfs in that world are like very. I got mine. Fuck you. <laughs> get out of my face. I think. I think. Uh, being with the the halflings is definitely the the best play. Um, yeah, because yeah. they're like they're all like playful and cheerful. Where the dwarves are like, "No, fuck you! I hate you! You're not a right. dwarf." <laughs> the elves are too fucking serious. Your women don't even have beards. <laughs> okay, like so hobbits are for sure where it's at. So for in in this uh, world, would you be like? Do you get to choose your race? I mean, do you? Imagine being the only human amongst like halflings. Well, because I know there are humans, but they're like very, they're not super extensive, like talked about in Lord of the Rings. They're just kind of there. It's the other races that really kind of get explored more. But imagine, imagine if you could, what, what race would you pick? Um, I feel like oh, any of them. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's really difficult to pick which one you would be. Elven, Elven for me. I mean, and it's not a difficult choice in my mind. The yeah, longevity yeah, I think in life. you would be you a dwarf. Would, you would just live. Yeah, fuck no, elf. Me? Yeah. You just, you just. Okay, a. You get to be immortal, so you get just to do whatever the fuck you want ev- forever. And then when you get tired of like shitty middle, <laughs> you get to go. You get to go to the fucking heaven. Undying like, lands. Yeah, you yeah. get to go to the fucking heaven. Just like ah, I'm tired of this place. Time to get on the boat and go to the place that only I can go. Fuck you. <laughs> sounds a little rigged. It is, it is very rigged. Is. Totally is. <laughs> hey, Fredo got to go, so sometimes yeah. they make an exception. All you got to do is carry like a ring that that is the equivalent of crack cocaine, and you're not allowed to do it, even though you're super Fredo, addicted for Fredo, 17 dude. years. Fredo didn't do <laughs> shit. Like he he just Lit. did the cocaine. Oh, whoa! Samwise whoa, whoa. did all the fucking work. Frodo carried a ring that Gandalf couldn't touch for 17 years across, like, the world. The, mo- the movies don't really give it justice on, Sam, on the, Sam the period of time. Sam, I mean, Sam is didn't. OG, but yeah. he couldn't hear it either. No, it's because Frodo's Frodo. sitting there, like, fucking just snorting the cocaine, and Sam's like, all right, let's get your cocaine ass up the mountain. Do great. your Gollum impression for us there, Larry. He lays uh, Gollum in the world. That's who he is. That's that is who I am. <laughs> I don't know if I could do it. Yes, you can. You get it. Little hobbits. Little hobbits. Pretty spot on. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty. Can can I make like a request that you say something? Yeah. <laughs> say say, I'm going to choke you until you come. <laughs> Wait, 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 let's get Hold on, let me record, record this real quick. <laughs> it's literally recording. We're on for life. So, <laughs> I need this specific section just for personal use. For on my phone uses. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I want to be able to play this through my, like, my no, earpods. It's not going to. Uh, hang on. I'm going to try and do it without laughing. So what was the line again? <laughs> I'm one. going to choke you until you come. <laughs> Or, or or just say choke me until I come, and then add Caleb on the. Now I'm just saying, just, just say choke me until I come. You got it. <laughs> choke <laughs> me until I come. <laughs> choke me. Choke me. Choke me. Choke me until I come. That was pretty God. good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, where's your world? We're done with it. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Larry is going to die today. Yeah. With, the, with the trauma his throat's been through so far. <laughs> That's he, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so for me, uh, man, it would be uh, just awesome if I could be a Saiyan in the DBZ world. And uh, I oh, so so you're a Saiyan. Yeah, I'd love to be saying? a Saiyan. Yeah, they yeah. they got a pretty high ratio of just being dead. <laughs> just like dying. Pretty high mortality rate. 
I'd like to maybe be like Goku's cousin. I'd like to be a her. main character. <laughs> please, please, I thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, even if I get nerfed like fucking Yamcha or. Yo, uh, oh, poor or Yamcha. Yeah. Oh, speaking of fucking nerfed, have you, have you saw the new game that's coming out? Oh, is it nerf for nothing? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, okay, so. It's the same world of uh, of uh, Xenoverse, right? It's the same like timeline as the well, you know, because it's messing with timelines. But uh, they take the really shitty people out of the world, like uh, Yamcha and uh, uh, the pig, and fucking all the really like pre- pretty much the Dragon Ball people that got left behind. You, there's seven of them, and like a random fucking evil villain pops up that tries to kill them but they're like really low level and they like slowly gain power so it's 7v1 and you got to try to get to the to the uh time machine to get the fuck out of there so it's like it's like dead by daylight well it's like dead by daylight but like with strong evil villains versus (laughs) weak like characters Hmm. okay so it's okay. like like stage one cell versus seven people, and he like slowly becomes the you know the better cell through it, and they got to get the fuck out of there before he like murders all of them. Okay, so the objective is to to, to get to to get the fuck be, out of there to be a bitch like Hampshire and get out of there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I I'll think it's to... a pretty sweet idea, like yeah, to I'll take have... all these forgotten characters. I'll have like to fucking peel off and all those. Peel yeah. Off. Yeah, Poir. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I could be into it. Tien, like Tien and Poir and, so, and uh, Yajirobe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in, in in the in the DBZ world, you're a Saiyan, though. That's your race of choice. Yeah, uh, but spe- specifically because, like, all the opportunity that they kind of lay out in, in the show – um and uh and, and really it's it's dragon balls because it's kind of op like what you, you just spend like uh like a year chasing down these balls all across the universe and like the investments oh, there yeah. you gotta know Bulma. there's no way to like actively like tracking them reliably without bulma's sh- shit that's fine so... you know, uh, honestly vegeta is my favorite character so if i get bulma in this story i'm fine with that <laughs> vegeta so... <laughs> will probably call you a bitch though i can try to beat the fuck out of you Fight me! I am the prince of all Saiyans. If I was if I was in the DBs world and I was a Saiyan, I would play liar liar and beat the fuck out of myself just constantly. I'd just let Vegeta beat the fuck out of me until I came. But you gotta OP. you gotta you gotta make sure you don't die. Is the thing you just gotta <laughs> yeah, beat yourself up to almost dead. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like that's gotta be like the goal. Hey, beat the shit out of me until I almost die. But almost, almost, almost. Like, and then I'll do just... the same to you, and we'll just do this back and forth until we're like literal god like better than gods sounds like a terrible time that's how they power up it's like it's canon that that they power up after being beat the fuck up yeah Yeah, i don't want that why would i want that (laughs) (laughs) hey hey, just beat the shit out of me don't you just beat the fuck (laughs) it'll be a good time it's it's literally the saying the saying um if it, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger is literally the whole the plot between saying, but if it's not trying um, to kill you, so like if you're, so you're you... beating yourself within an inch of your life, that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every time I masturbate, I get stronger. So are you like a Z like, fighter? No, you right. Are you yeah, a Z I... fighter in the world? Yeah, or are you just like trying to like live? Like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just back up Goku. Yeah. Uh, you got it. You got it, man. You want to be the strongest? Yeah. You fight them. You no problem. Yeah, and I like must be a cheerleader. <laughs> yeah, Goku, Goku, he's our man. If he can't do it, guess we're all dead. Well, guess we're dead. Caleb just holds the sensu beans in this world. All right, he's sensu fucking bean. krillin. He's krillin in this world. Sensu bean. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, if if nobody gets that, uh, DBZ abridged uh, on YouTube is just it's it is so close to the storyline but hilarious because of the small changes they make it's just spot on oh it's perfect it really is yeah it really is so if you're not into dragon ball z larry because i know you've never watched through them uh if you go on you watched them all the way through 
Dude, I, okay, let me tell you. So in my life, this is what happened. I, my my mother would drop me off, and I had to do like early daycare. Like we got there at like four or five in the morning, and um, and then the the channel that actually played them in in our daycare, I remember it so vividly because Sailor Moon played right beforehand, and I was just you know. I was watching Sailor Moon because I fucking had to. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, because I was like, you know, in the very next episode, He's like, DBZ Sailor coming Moon. on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you're just going to, you're going to beat yourself off in the Saiyan world. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah boy. Yeah. yeah. Basically nothing changes. I'm just a Saiyan. Mm. All right. <laughs> It's pretty sweet. No. Brian, but the idea the idea is the Dragon Balls is really what I'm specifically saying. So do they you have know, the like, ability to do whatever, like any wish Dragon you want? Ball? Yeah. Yeah. That bring dead back to life. But the, the rule is that like they can only do that once. They like they can only grant a, a, a specific rule. wish. Shenron yeah, well, was just fucking tired of it. <laughs> so he got actually, tired of it. He's like, not this shit again. You can't do it anymore. No, Krillin can't keep coming back. You know, <laughs> fucking the fuck? tired of it. Oh, no, so, it. so it was like it was all about phrasing. Like, so Krillin actually, I think, legitimately died and got back brought back like maybe three times. Uh, but it was all about the phrasing of how they made their wish. So, like before, it was like, yes, I want all my friends to come back. Oh, I want all the people that died from this tragedy to come back, and then you know. Can you heal the world and what happened because of what Cell's actions were, or something like that? So, like these these are specific wishes that happen, and then so um, they made it to where there's like three sets of universal Dragon Balls, and they have like different levels of power that can basically grant anything. And then in in the the latest uh, uh, sh uh, showing or sh uh, oh gosh, I can't talk right now. Uh, showing jumps. Christian uh, Bush. Yeah, they have uh, they have these like um, galaxy sized or planet sized Dragon Balls that just float out in in the the different universes and um, planet -sized collecting balls. them all. Planet yeah, sized balls. That's what I got. They summon this right. colossal dragon. It's my dick. Sweet. Um, I I'm I don't know why. Like, so I'm I took the opposite route here. Uh, I'm opening the door and I'm going to fucking Pokemon Land. Because like that. I I get I get all the perks of like cool ass shit happening and like dragons and shit, and none of the perks of like dying terribly constantly. <laughs> yeah, because like Ash so, gets burnt and he's completely fine. Yeah, you just spray it with some fucking magical whatever. Yeah, like spray heal. Hyper potion. Um, so Do you let think me. Ask you hospitals that, so. are like that. Do you think they like put him in a bed and like they're just healed? Oh, no they, they have amazing health care. Has to if they it's got this shit for Pokemon, I'm sure yeah. it's like. Well, I mean, it's completely free because like you go and you take your Pokemon, and they're just like, "Yeah, we're they're healed up, no problem, get but out of here." Lemonade is like five hundred dollars. Well, it's yeah. five hundred yen. Which well, is yen, like five yeah, bucks. it's nothing, and yeah, it's their their economy is is different. Um, but yeah, yeah that's so, what uh, I'm doing, and I'm I'm so, a ten year old boy. So are we Forever. are we talking like Forever. cartoon? style pokemon yeah, or dude, the anime video games okay because i was about to say like i feel like that would be actually worse in my mind than, the anime? than how the yeah because like you, you know you have uh you have like certain stipulations that go that go along with i mean ash sure he's he's op like he can get burnt and electrocuted and stuff like that but like he can be forded by uh team rocket and stuff and imagine like real world applications also the anime. he always wins there's a i mean a like the good or... guys ho -Oh shows up for no reason and everything's fixed yeah but there's there's that a Lugia. constant terrorist organization always trying to overthrow the world and they've got fucking dragons too yeah but they like armor. but they're like we'll probably do it and we'll do it in the goofiest fucking way possible mm. My luck. Can you imagine getting I'll tell you exactly what we're gonna do. I'd straight. I would. I would work with uh, Jesse and uh, James. I'd be a team rocket. Oh, I bet you would. I'd. I'd. I'd work with uh, Jesse also. Either that, or you I'd know. get. With, I would get with uh, Ash and and go to the uh, the water gym with you'd Misty. You yeah. get some Ash. <laughs> You're gonna squirtle all over your Pikachu's. I don't know. I think and, I'd get. And that's that's what stipulations. 
I, I'm definitely like Gen 1. Just picking up the Squirtle. We're going to have a, a grand old fucking adventure. Yeah, and I'm gonna not going to be a bitch ass. Yeah, Blast Boy. I'm not, I'm not going to make... He can't evolve! Uh... <laughs> no, he's immediately... Oh, you're level 16? You better fucking... We're turtle it up, motherfucker. <laughs> so that's the thing, though, is like you wouldn't know when or how the Pokemon would evolve. There's no like leveling system in in the uh, the animated adventures. Yeah, but it's way cooler that way. You just randomly like you're just walking along. He like squirts something in the bush. It dies, and he like transforms. It's like, oh, cool. That's exactly how that happens. War, in war turtle. I mean, war if you think off. about it, that's what happens. You just like. You're walking in the grass, all of a sudden something pops up, you're like, I'm way too powerful, you dumb bitches. But I get a little bit of experience, and all of a sudden, boom! And yeah, then he, like, flashes, and gives you a seizure, and you wake up, and he's war total now. Fucking traveling is terrible, because every five feet, you got somebody wanting to fight you. You get a flying Pokemon, just get wherever you need to go. Yeah. <laughs> Only the places you've been. Hold on to Pidgeot's legs and scream for your dear life as he, <laughs> as he drags you through the air at like 60 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. It's got to be way or faster than that. Or on get... back and just have your dick shocked the whole time. Or Articuno. Get frostbite all over. I can't let go because my testicles are stuck to this thing. What about Moltres? <laughs> no, literally a molten bird. He's got yeah, a volcano... Fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's you have to worry about fucking Jigglypuff putting your ass to sleep all the goddamn time. Yeah. Fucking Never get anything done. Dittos pretending to be somebody else. But nobody actually has to do anything in this world. Like, the only people with jobs is, like, the nurse and the police officer. Everybody else <laughs> is doing whatever the fuck they want constantly. They live in a utopia of, of like, of this weird world where everybody enslaves there, these <laughs> these monsters that are that way outpopulate them. There there <laughs> are people who work in offices and stuff. Yeah, but they're like doing office work. Yeah, they're not yeah. really working. Yeah, no, they they are. There's <laughs> like those uh, no. there's those office buildings that were in the uh, the first games that you just go in and there's people just like fuck off, uh, you know, I'm working. No, yeah, but I'm, I'm not working. in the game. I'm in anime. Yeah, that's that's the dialogue that pops up. Fuck off, I'm working. <laughs> Fuck off. I want to make a Pokemon hack now. That's like it's just that, just Vulgar. dumb shit. Probably. So, um, my uh, my son's been wanting to watch Pokemon lately. Sure, um, on. Yeah, I mean, I do um, obviously, um, but I was gonna tell you that uh, I was kind of like just watching along. It's the latest one. I forget what the name of it's called, but Ash is like a thousand years old by this point. Um, but Brock. Hey. Fine, finally gets a girlfriend in this series. Brock no, finally just woos a woman. Heresy. Brock was smooth as fuck. I'd fuck Brock. Yeah, I mean, he was simping all over all the nurse uh, or uh, officer and nurse yeah. joys. Yeah. Yeah. He so was, makes me wonder. I think I think that the uh, the people with um jobs like the the doctors and police um. I think they're clones. They absolutely are. Because they have no, cloning they, technology. They, they establish that they're sisters. They're yeah, big they're families. They're twin sisters. They just practice eugenics. <laughs> a million of each of them were born at the same time. They're like a, a fucking nest of spiders. Yeah. It's like a bunch of eggs <laughs> and they all crawl out and already know their job. Yeah. They're bunnies. God, it's terrible. I mean, and then... Is that the, the entire time Mr. Mom is just fucking your mom. That's what happened. That's what done it. Mr. Mom fucked my mom. <laughs> All right. So, Mr. the final Mom's one. Larry, where are you going? What's your world? So, I got an echo from yeah. Brian. Too bad. Yeah, Brian. Too fucking bad. <laughs> move, move, move your, your mic. mic further away from yeah, do that. See if that okay. <laughs> Testing. All right. <laughs> that actually worked. Nope. So, well, just say so. I'm, I'm not talking anymore. You talk. All right. I went a little bit more uh, relaxed with this because I, I thought about Pokemon. Too more much work. Po- you don't I'm, gotta do- no, I'm, I'm fucking chilling with Mystery Inc. 
Like I'm going Mystery Three. Inc. Scooby Doo, bitches. Scooby-Doo? You think Scooby Doo is more chilling than Pokemon? Yeah. In, most, what, in what universe? Most of the time, Shaggy and Scooby are just sitting in the back of the van, fucking running, eating. running constantly, running their asses off constantly. Yeah, they run. I'm gonna bitch slap somebody. I haven't seen you run like ever. <laughs> That's because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's get, the problem, but you'd get you'd get fucked up. You're talking about the one goofy ass uh crime it's... organization. Everybody is doing some sort of hard crime that they've got to disguise themselves in Scooby Doo World. <laughs> yeah. The only reason that there's but it's not never dangerous that's going on. Yeah, because it's a, ch- a children's show. The, like uh real world applications, you know, cameras aren't on. There, these are uh, these are embezzling people, jewel thieves that are just trying terrorists. To cover, yeah, terrorists None covering the, their tracks. I'm gonna They'll start fucking a carrying heart. a gun. Like, take that I'm thousand a, watt ghost. Uh, you've not seen one gun in any of the shows. They they don't exist in mystery Minor, world. Minor 49er, pop pop. It's not true, actually. In the. Uh, What's the gun? There, there are guns. There's, uh, uh, there's many a police that, uh, that actually does they carry a sidearm. No. They don't pull it out. No, no but like they're just there. Think, they think just about show it. They, up with, with so cuffs. Then, Mystery Inc. is never in any real danger. They fucking get to hang out with Mark Hamill, Batman, fucking Adam West. I think they're in a lot of danger, but they, they somehow always escape that danger. Yeah, they're never in any real plot danger. armor. Why did you say Batman twice? Uh, yeah. Because like they're two separate. No, I mean Adam West does not ever make an appearance. Pretty Batman sure he does. does. I think no. he might. I think he might. Yeah, mm-hmm. he does. The old Scooby Doo, where me... like the the thing was like every episode, here's a new. They go with the Globe Trotters and fucking. Yeah, but Adam's it was always family shows up for some reason. It, it, it was always um, it was always Batman with Adam West. He always that was his voice. For the time, yeah. he never came on as Adam West. Yeah, but he's Adam West, Batman. Everyone knows that. Yeah, that's Adam West. Hang on. Trying to grow a mustache. What are you guys saying? He's been Before in multiple episodes of Scooby Doo as different characters. Yeah, get fucked. But, but not as himself. Ooh. He was an actor by mm. trade. Actually, uh, just watched uh, on uh, HBO. They have a uh, a small series uh, where they use Adam West, uh, his voice, and basically do the old school Batman style, but in an animated adventure. And it's pretty good. It's good writing. HBO's got a lot of good stuff. Okay, yeah. It, they got a lot. It says that he played uh, Jared Moon in Aloha Scooby-Doo. Winslow and Adam? Scooby-Doo Unmasked. But did he play Adam West? Daphne's the Uncle Sandy. You, still, you haven't said Adam Batman. West? No, he, he never played Adam West in it. I thought he did. I, I, know, I know you're wrong. I'm, Suck I'm, a dick. I, don't, I mean, uh, I, I've watched... Scooby Doo, uh, as long as I can remember, and I've never once ever seen Adam West play Adam West in that. But Mark Hamill yeah. was like Mark Hamill played Mark Hamill in. Yeah, um, he even has a. Uh, it was actually during a Batman episode, and he and he gets something caught in his throat and laughs like the Joker. Yeah, and uh, and they, that's that was his uh, tip of the hat where he did a lot of voice acting as Joker. So. So. So Larry, you you're in this world. You're just hanging out with the mystery. Game? Yeah, I'm. I'm just like I probably won't go to any spooky mansions or anything like that. But I'll I'll drive the van. I mean, you're wrong. I, yeah, no, you have to. Job. I don't have to yeah. do shit. Like, hey guys, <laughs> let you in. I'll stay in the van and wait for you guys to come back. Just they're, they're gonna invite you for like one, maybe two, like mysteries tops. Yeah, I'm gonna be like fucking take Vincent Price. Are you going to be like Scrappy? I'm going to be way better than Scrappy. Puppy <laughs> power. Like, I'm going to be I'm going to be in the van cooking and just chilling. Like. And uh cooking what? They only like 
Just they just blood. constantly eat sandwiches as their prime source. Yeah, I'm gonna of... be making a big ass sandwich. My my favorite uh, one Scooby-Doo. that you have to literally unhinge your jaw to eat every time. And I'll have the ability to do that, dude. Scooby Doo characters oh. probably get the best blowjobs because <laughs> they can unhinge their uh, jaw. Tell me I'm Velma wrong. Or Def- Velma oh, or Daphne? Velma. Daphne's too high, like high maintenance. I think that's like everybody will say Velma. Yeah. yeah. Well, so I don't think Daphne would be high maintenance because she gets everything she wants by her dad anyway. Yeah. She seems humble. And then when her dad. So my thing is. When her dad passes, who do you think is going to have to upkeep that? Her. her trust she, would, she would inherit it. No. <laughs> yeah. Fred. Yeah, well, Fred, Fred's gonna have to take care of her. He's gonna yeah, have to get a second job. job I think there was multiple arcs of how she wants to be like uh, a strong woman that don't need nobody else. There is, like multiple, multiple arcs. And she also knows kung fu. Yeah, so, so I don't know. I don't yeah. know about Cannon. her being high strong. Do you know it's also canon that Shaggy can go Super Saiyan? Is it? Mm-hmm. We'll see. I'll I'll just make best friends with the god, and it'll be fine. Like you're not ready for my power. Like that's not even my full power, man. He would he would like <laughs> abandon you immediately every time. Yeah, no thought, immediate no. abandonment. No, he's good, no, buddy. He, sh- uh, Scooby though. He say he say no. Scooby. Yeah, but he doesn't give a fuck about anybody else. But that's the thing, though. Think about how many times uh, Shaggy is literally running with a great Dane in his arm. A great aim that just eats endlessly. So he's of food. Like, that, that, he's at least 150 pounds, and Shaggy is he, just yeah. fucking and they gotta, full they got to be like the flesh. Like, they got to constantly eat a stupid amount of food just to survive. So they yeah. got to be like... His metabolism. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm, you're going to get to get the benefit of it. Every time you're running away, badass music plays. Yeah. Just but, fucking montage but, but, all the time. Song. Yeah, but, but just saying that it's it's less work than the Pokemon world is ridiculous. Because in the Pokemon yeah, world, like... you just you, the monsters do all the thing for you. No. You just go, yeah. do this. You're yeah, having fucking fuck chokes. I can move your shit around. Like, the, the moving companies all use Pokemon. Come on fire. <laughs> you got to worry about a yeah, psychic feel... cat. Killing everybody. You don't. Your Pokemon does. That's his. <laughs> no, that's you do. <laughs> that's a world no. portal's problem. <laughs> I, I feel. I feel like Brian's still spot on with this. The thing is, is like, man, if it kills like, your Pokemon, you just okay. Well, it's all over. Sorry, you can't God, do anything. You are else a terrible me. pet owner. You yourself. Everybody is in that out. world. Everybody <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, you yourself. So after they're done with the Pokemon, they're coming after you. They take hey, light. Thunder Rat, go use Thunder Clap on his cheeks. Go do <laughs> thunder it. Clap on cheeks. I'm, I'm throwing fucking goldfish at this giant dragon hoping shit happens. And I just black out. And that's my story. Whereas me, I'm like, I, I'm fucking jogging down a hallway. I go in one door, I end up over there. Simple plans, blasting. I get the big <laughs> ass sandwich and hang out with a cartoon dog. None of those plans actually ever work. No, it's sim- always the, the band simple plan. Oh, what's new Scooby Doo? What's new Scooby Doo? Coming yeah. after you. But like the, all their plans only work for like mishap. What if oh, like yeah. time it mishaps and just kills you, dude? If 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 me and Fred could get together and fucking make a trap, uh, there's gonna be a lot more spikes. There's trap. <laughs> Thirst trap. Trap, right? Thirst trap. <laughs> Come on, Fred. Let's twerk. Fred's gonna make. <laughs> hey, goes. Clap, 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 <laughs> clap. <laughs> then old man. All Jenkins. I can see is Larry and Fred <laughs> running around, just raping old man Jenkins. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> old man Jenkins was just trying to scare everybody away from his amusement park, and fucking <laughs> Larry and Fred got rape charges. Fred uh, show up to a store and they're like, bro, tape. 
<laughs> so it took me. It took me, <laughs> took me a second. Took me a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. No. I. 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 I, uh, I just have to say that, like, if all of our worlds had like real world applications to it, no, you. That's not what Larry, we're doing. I mean, so so Larry just gets to to Scooby Doo run out of the place and and yeah. never be in danger. Exactly. The fucking floor well, falls out from underneath me. I got at least ten seconds before I fall. Everywhere that we go to, this plot armor, uh, Tyler, like magical wizards, show up for no reason, turn everybody into stone. That's fucking them up. Like mine, literally, nothing bad can ever happen just because something will always work. Just because it's friend, a kid's friend, show. Friendship will triumph. Uh, Caleb, world, Goku will power up a little bit more. <laughs> And kill whatever. So. You Goku just good. needs to yell a little bit louder. Yeah, he just needs to yell a little bit more. Like, give him a little bit. He's not... Uh, to uh. Put, put 30 more seconds on the timer. We'll, go, <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> He's not done yet. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I'm... I'm I'm, uh, I'm a little behind all this. Yeah. I mm-hmm. think, uh, think... Well, Larry, there's one other thing to know about canon for all of Ministry Incorporated and Scooby-Doo, is that zombies are actually real. We confirmed True. that in And Mystery fucking werecats. Werecats. Evil werecats are still people's souls. And uh, those big, weird aliens. demon things. Legitimately aliens. Aliens. That's fine. And those weird demon things that, uh, those that, what are they, skinwalkers that jump in the bodies of yeah. Other people like in the... a lot of the crazy shit happening in the actual movies, and it's it's socially acceptable to eat dog treats in that world. I mean, it is here too. You can no, just do that. Like, it's not walk really... around with a milk bone and start ch- <laughs> just chomping on it, see what people do. Funny story. And then there's um, that um, I, that I one actually... Scooby Doo movie where Dracula exists. Yeah, dude. So... Like legit, every movie there's like. But they were good every, people. Every like, movie, every good. movie's. Premises was like, but what if it's real this time? <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> look at, what? Look at it this way. They also had a crossover episode with Supernatural, making everything in Supernatural canon. In in oh, dude, in, the, the in that Supernatural episode, people people they died. Supernatural episode. That's what I'm yeah. saying. So you have real remember. legitimate. This is a newer it one. Happened. I'm guessing it yeah, was one of the yeah. later seasons. Like they. Uh, Sam and Dean got sucked into a TV show and it was Scooby Doo. Huh. And, wait, and that's wait. The thing. Is this a supernatural episode or is this a Scooby Doo? It's a supernatural episode. Oh, it's, that it, makes it's, sense. So, like, at that point, like, Scooby Doo, the characters become self aware and they're like, what the I don't, fuck? I don't think the Scooby Doo producers was like, you know what, let's do. <laughs> let's fucking put the demon no, hunt. I mean, it's all it. WB. It oh, is WB. Yeah. So, it's, yeah. it's legitimate. It's a canon world of reality that's there. So all right. angels, demons, uh, uh, gins, all, all the monsters that they face. But that was a different hell. That, fuck that world. But you could get sucked in at any time. No, they didn't get sucked That's... in. Like somebody else got sucked in. Uh, you're you're hanging out with Mystery Incorporated, bro. Yeah, they you're got, at the epicenter of everything already. crazy happening. You could legit die. No, as long as I'm <laughs> a main reason. character, I'm safe. But you're not. The, you're, you're, you're not. Man. You're the hanger on. No. Even in my DBZ world, I'm a background character. I'm pretty okay. Our buddy Tyler, he's just a hobbit halfling hanging out in the in a field being a farmer. He's just he's getting high eating alive. Oh, he's eating he's smo- he's getting high smoking weed and eating mushrooms, dude. So am I with Shaggy and Scooby. <laughs> He didn't say he was gonna go like go off with Gandalf and shit. He said he was gonna show up and watch his fucking fireworks. <laughs> I'm in the van. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the van the guy. Spot in this no. <laughs> All right. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Clapping well, Larry cheeks. wants to join Mystery Inc. so he can find out who the gas station guy is. Yeah, that's, that's what this whole thing was. <laughs> that's how it all. That's that's where I'm it all comes like, together. Hmm, I gotta solve this <laughs> mystery. He just wants Come to on, peel gang. the gas station guy's face back. Aha! Oh, I knew dude. it was you the whole time. Jesus. Yeah, it's, it was actually it's Larry the whole time. <laughs> like, oh shit! Did hey, and you know down. what? You know what? Actually, one of the more wholesome. Nobody was really fucked up this episode. Look at that. Yeah. Good job, Larry. Way to go, us. <laughs> yeah, way to go, Larry. 
I've been pretty normal. I honestly, I thought you were gonna go somewhere like be part of Ghostbusters so you can fuck the Keymaster. Yeah, he's wanting to get slimed real bad. <laughs> no, that fu- <laughs> fucking. Uh, he's wanting that ghost. He's wanting that ghost that like fucking wax them all off. <laughs> v- Vigo <laughs> like, scared the shit out of me. Yeah, in Ghostbusters one, they're like all sleeping in the bed. And I all think that was more of a sex dream, dream, to be honest. All of them have the sex dream at the same time. It was no, just this- one. One ghost sneaks into that fucking their uh, fire uh, yeah, house. Yeah, Ray is sitting there out. and his pants like pop open. And he's just like, "Oh, right." I think that was a it sex is... dream with Ray. No, it has been this too is long long since I've seen You need to rewatch it because I rewatched Apparently. it with the kids. I was like, "Good kid movie," and then all of a sudden, <laughs> "Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah." Like, I think right. you downloaded I the think... wrong. Ghostbusters. Movie. Yeah, that's what I was Ghostbusters thinking. Ghostbusters watch Slimer at tits. Nutbusters. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no nut. I ain't afraid of that nut. <laughs> Busted makes me feel good. Uh, it's, it's they the, changed the, nothing they about the thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Final, final thoughts is out the window. We, yeah. We're no longer the wholesome podcast. Hey, hey, hang on. Let's, let's talk. To Tyler, what are your final thoughts? I still think Lord of the Rings would be the best one. It's a pretty dope place. You're biased on that, though. Doesn't count. <laughs> You're biased and wrong. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My bias you know, is always correct. Opinions mean nothing to me except mine. That's Larry right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's That's Larry. me all the time. Pokemon. That's fair. That's Since Larry Ash doesn't time. age, I don't know if Pokemon, like, time even passes in that time universe. Does- that seems. It that seems kind of shitty. Yeah. It actually does. It actually does. I'm immortal. Yeah. It, yeah. It why does. would you want to be ten for the for all of your life? That sounds terrible. I don't Imagine know. Imagine being a ten year old. I had a pretty good time on, at ten. Like, interviews. <laughs> I had a pretty good time at ten. Until you, you, didn't, you, didn't you want to fuck something, then it's just weird. But you don't want to fuck anything. You're ten. No. I mean, you're eventually gonna want to. No. Yeah. No. no. You're gonna be like right no. on the edge of puberty all the time. But not there. <laughs> like, yeah, you've ever. Uh, that's when you go on Larry adventure. Has never heard of. Yeah, Larry's never heard of edging though, which is like a great <laughs> it's thing. What, if you ever edged for five hundred years, for years. <laughs> you, ever, you ever edge yourself for <laughs> as a ten year old for thirteen years? Gets the old flashlight dildo or <laughs> the, <laughs> the fucking the fle- uh, <laughs> flashlight. Go fleshmon. <laughs> I think it's just a ditto. Yeah, it's a ditto that he's just like. Like makes a cylinder with. Yeah, I'd stick my dick in the oh, ditto. Uh, just it's just straight up just ditto. It's, <laughs> it's just it's, ditto. Like... it's just ditto in a cup. <laughs> <laughs> ditto is the cup. What are you talking about? No, you you stick ditto in the cup. Hi, it's time to feed the ditto. <laughs> <laughs> I just you Bustin know, makes I, me sure feel good. A, I'm oh sure there's God. a rule thirty four out there about this, but like ditto could just turn into like the girl of your dreams and in, in Pokemon. And oh yeah, Pokemon movie like the yeah, the, the guard was a uh, ditto. No, you're talking about the the Pikachu movie. Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu. Yeah. I haven't actually watched that yet. You haven't watched Detective the Pikachu? Fuck? Absolutely, one hundred percent. Go fucking watch it, dude. Like it's got Ryan Reynolds, yeah. and it's a Pokemon movie like based in like a Pikachu. realish world. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean, I, I plan to watch it. I'm, I'm catching up. It's I been got, on I've for got, it's like, been out for a while. You're not planning on shit. We went to the movies. Yeah, I totally. It. It I totally good. am. Like, see, the thing is, like, I don't think you guys understand the pull, the vast pull of of films and shows that I literally consume. Like, uh, it's apparently not it, it's ridiculous. Anything good. I mean, well, hang on. I've, saying, I've taken a I've taken a hiatus from my usual horror themed movies, and I'm catching up on my sci fi stuff. Like I finally watched 2001: A Space Odyssey, and that came out in the fucking 70s. I don't know what you want. From that me. came out before <laughs> you. Know, like this came out in your lifetime. Yeah, and it was so, from your childhood. Yeah. And that's why it is further down the list than shit from my my childhood. No, like there's there's no. priorities. Like f- fucking Pokemon, Ghostbusters Pokemon. comes out this week. I'm going to try and see it this weekend. Oh, the new I'm, book, the only, I, I mean, I'm sure I'm going to watch that, but it's not going to be during the opening week. Oh, yeah, I'm going to watch I'm, it in I'm, theaters. I'm, I am going to watch The Matrix in theaters. 
fucking mm-hmm. Paul Rudd in Ghostbusters. That's, all I need. That's pretty exciting, actually. I love yeah. Paul Rudd. Larry's just hoping and praying that Rick Moranis is in it. No, yeah, I, I am hoping and praying. <laughs> Fuck you. He's, yeah, I can't wait. To he's he's, he's edging himself right now. I'm just thinking about it. He's been like him <laughs> since it came out. He's like, I have to tell. You, it's not sexual. I idolize him, not sexualize him. 100% sexual. No, I sexualize I mean, Ryan Reynolds. Hang on, hang on. Let, let's break it down. Larry, what is idolization to you? I mean, like, I don't want to fuck him. I just admire him as an actor. But what is what is, what is is an idol? What is an idol in life? What is that? He's someone you look up to. Yeah, because if you're on your knees. <laughs> fuck you. Until next time, guys. <laughs> Stay fat. And keep your trench coats on. Over Rick Moranis' head. <laughs>